What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content, more ranked battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Bascule Legion rain team for Regulation D, or I should say, for Master Tier in Regulation D. Considering this team is top tier, has a bunch of meta Pokemon, and the team synergy is phenomenal. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, guys, I will be leaving the Poke Pace for this team down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check it out, it will be down in the description below. And I know I get a lot of crap for that. People are like, yo, Jeans, where's the Poke Pace? You never show the Poke Pace. If I have the Poke Pace, I am always going to leave it in the description below. So if it's not in the description below, it means I do not have it. I'm just using the rental code and rocking out with it. But like I said, today, we got the Poke Pace, so it's down in the description below. But uh, first Pokemon for today's team preview is Bashka Legion, one of my newest favorite Pokemon. Ever since it was released in Legend Arceus, I absolutely love its design. I'm a big fan of water Pokemon, and this this is a real deal right here. He's got Swift Swim, he's got Life Orb as item, Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Lash Respects, and Protect. Loving this moveset for this Bashka Legion. In the second slot, we got Pelipper, Bashka Legion's best friend and a great rain setter. He's got Drizzle, Focus Sash as item, Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Tailwind for Speed Control, and then it also has Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do a bit more damage. In our third slot, we got Thunders over here. Not the normal Prankster Thunders. This one is a heavy hitting Thunders with Bolt Absorb and Choice Specs as item. He's got Wild Bolt Storm, Bolt Switch, Grass Knot for coverage, and last but not least, Terra Blast with the Flying Terra. Fifth Pokemon, or not fifth, fourth Pokemon is going to be Amoongus, a nice support Pokemon to kind of clean this team up and make it a whole. It's got Regenerator, Rocky Helmet as its item, Giga Drain, Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, nothing you guys haven't seen before. In our fifth slot, we got the one and only Gudra. Gudra has been one of the most bulkiest Pokemon in Regulation D. It survives special attack hits, physical attack hits, and it's just all around an absolute menace. It's got Sap Zipper as its ability, Leftovers as item, Rocket Body Press, Heavy Slam, Shelter, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane. Really can't go wrong with Fluttermane, and this team is rocking out with it. It's got Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy as its item, Moonblast, Dazzling, and Shadow Ball as its three moves, and then Protect for its fourth and final. Really the best moveset for Fluttermane. That's it right there. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this regulation Basket Legion rain team. First match is on its way. It's pretty cool. We're going up against a Basket Legion as well. The female Basket Legion form, which is a different color. It's more of like a light bluish instead of a red. It looks dope. So Basket Legion versus Basket Legion in match number one. They also have Shen Pao. They got uh, Serene over there. And then they're also rocking Toxicroak, who is cool off meta Pokemon. Then Pelipper, just like us, and Dragonite to pair up with as Shen Pao. Who should I lead? How should I go into it? I could set the rain with Pelipper, but I feel as Pelipper would be a nice back end Pokemon. Or maybe we could just set Tailwind with them. Maybe we should just go into Rain Squad. But I feel like they're going to uh, lead their little grass type Pokemon. So I might just go Pelipper alongside with Tornadus, which I think could actually work out really, really well for us. And I'm really actually down with that. So I'm going to go with them too. I'm going to bring Bash Legion in the back end, considering Rain's going to be out here a lot. And then last but not least, I feel as Fluttermane's got to be here. Right, it's going to be super effective onto the Shen Pao. It's going to do some big time damage on Toxicroak. It's got Shadow Ball for that Basket Legion. Dragonite will be super effective onto. You really can't go wrong with it, so I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So Fluttermane's going to come in this back end. Such good Pokemon. It's such good Pokemon. Well, let's see who they're going to lead. I was going to not bring Pelipper and hope that they bring Pelipper, but then if I do that and they have the same idea, then it would just be tough. But he ends up going into these two, which I do not mind. I do not mind. I could, ooh, I was gonna say I could terrestrialize and hit hard with Terra Blast, but an Ice Spinner could do me so bad. But you know, I'm gonna set up Tailwind this turn, and the Volt Switch out of here. I really want to Terra, like Terra Blast here. I really do, but I think I'm just gonna choice into a Wild Bolt Storm. Just do some damage on the Shen Pao. He might just take me out. So do I want a hard swap? Maybe in the, like, Basket Legion here? Hmm. I'm just gonna stay in here and go for Wild Bolt Storm. We'll see what he wants to do. Maybe he'll pre protect the Shen Pao. But he's gonna end up Terrasalize in turn one. And he's terroring. Shen Pao? No, it's gonna be the Serene over here. And you're gonna go into straight electric. Whoa there. Hold up. Why are you electric? I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Of course, this thing's electric, and he does go for the ice spinner here. So, yeah, we're taking some big time damage with that. 
See, like, I thought that was coming through, but it was just like, I don't want to swap a Pokemon and just, like, take some big time damage with it. I'd rather just him die out, so I'm going to set up this Tailwind. I still think we're fine after this. So he's going to hit me with this Terror Blast, right? Yep. Terror Blast can come out here. I am stashed up, and now from here, we start to get after it. I could bring out Bash Legion. I could. I definitely could. I definitely could. I could also bring out a Pokemon like Fluttermane, who could be really good. I, mean, I think I am going to bring out Fluttermane. Save the Basket Legion for back end Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm going to go Fluttermane here. I am now going to go into a Dash and Gleam, which will definitely KO the Shen Pao, no problem. And then on top of that, we can just go into like a Hurricane into Serene, because we do have a lot of speed here, and Hurricane's going to land. Actually, I feel as Hydra Pump we got to go into. So, I'm going to go Hydra Pump. I am going to go Dash and Gleam here. Should be able to pick up some KOs. And I'm going to save my Terra. I don't think we have to Terrasize. Is he going to protect Shen Pao? That's totally fine by me. Totally fine. Gleam is now going to fly. We just need to land this Hydra Pump of Pelipper, right? We land this, this Hydra Pump of Pelipper, we're right back in this game. Because it's going to KO. Go ahead, Pelipper. My man, yo. I love Pelipper. thing absolutely rips. I love Pelipper. Dude, <laughs> Pelipper's so sick. It's so funny because back in the day... Um, Back in, like, when I played Pokemon Emerald on the Game Boy. Oh, dude, I love that game. Uh, I used to hate Winkle and Pelipper. I'm like, dude, why would I want this bird on my team? Nowadays, if I pop in Emerald on the Game Boy or play it on an emulator on my PC, I'm rocking Pelipper on the team all the time. It's so sick. It's such a good Pokemon. I absolutely love it. But they're now going to go Swift Swim on the Basket Legion. And from here is where I'm just going to go for a Helping Hand. And I'm going to Terrastalize, and I'm just going to pop the Dazzle Gleam. Wait, it makes the most sense. So I don't want Sucker Punch coming in here and Aqua Jet to finish me out. I'd rather go into both of these and just start ripping with some damage. So I'm here. I still have Bash Legion of my own in the back end, which is awesome. Got a couple turns left in rain. And we'll go from there. And plus, we have Tailwind. So my thought process with letting the Thunderous die that Ice Spinner instead of letting another Pokemon take damage actually works out pretty well. Sometimes you gotta let Pokemon die out. But we do that. Now we're gonna pop a Gleam. It's Helping Hand. It's Stab Boost it. It's Terror Boost it. Shen Pao is definitely dead. We're doing some big time damage on the Basket Legion. Which is, which is huge. Let's see what Basket Legion can go for. It's gonna go for the Shadow Ball into that slot. Good thing we did Terrasalize. We should be able to soak that. We do. That's huge. That's huge. Aqua Jet is actually kind of scary. But he's gonna throw out Toxic Croak here. And we got some speed going. We have some speed. But from here, I'm just gonna throw a Hurricane into the Toxic Croak slot. And actually, do I double down into Basque Legion? I kind of feel as I should, right? I kind of feel as I should, because Basque Legion is the only real threat, right? Basque Legion is the only real threat here, so if I double down into it, we can get rid of it. If he protects, he protects. It's not that big of a deal. That means I get off Dazzle Gleam. But a fake out comes out here. A lovely little fake out. And he's going to Shadow Ball. Who you Shadow Ball in here? My Pelipper. Shadow Ball my Pelipper. Okay. I feel you. I understand. And Tailwind is now gone. Wow, we have a game. So I have Bashku Legion as well. Bring it back in. It's speed's not max, which kind of hurts the soul. That's kind of hurt. From here, I'm really thinking of just going into like an Aqua Jet. Do we think Aqua Jet has a chance of KOing? But it means obviously fastest on the field. You know, I'm going to Lash Respects into Basket Legion. And I'm going to Dazzle Legion across the board. Because if he doesn't Aqua Jet me, then I can get rid of him. I can really start thriving. So he goes for a Sucker Punch in me. Wow, the thing is ripping with Sucker Punch. How dare you? And Gleam's going to fly. Okay, cool. We're going to win this match. I was thinking his Basket Legion was going to go for Aqua Jet for so long. But nah, that's gonna that's gonna help us out tremendously. We get rid of the Bash Legion, like I said. The main threat is going to be Bash Legion, and now Last Respects comes out here. And my Bash Legion cleans this one cleans this one up. But yo, solid first match there. We let our Thunderous die out there, and we let our other Pokemon in the back end finish this one off. Second match is on its way, and we got a hot start letting our Thunderous die in the first match, but I kind of want to change the narrative here. I kind of want to keep this thing alive and get ripping with it. So I'm going to lead it here in match number two alongside with the Pelipper, but we're going up against a really tough team yet again. Shen Pao, Urshifu Dragon. Three main, and then they're also Rocking Heatran, Rillaboom, and last but not least, they got 
uh, what is that Pokemon called? Iron Bundle. So a lot of Pokemon are actually ripping me. I'm kind of scared of it. I definitely am. But I do like these guys. I am going to love Flutterman here. So I'm bringing Flutterman yet again. And do I bring Bash Legion? Or do I bring in the bulky Gudra? Hmm. Looking at the team. I kind of like Gudra. But at the same time, if we can get Rain cooking, Last Respect's going to be able to do some awesome damage. And we can't get hit by E speed. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to stick with Bash Legion here. We're going to look to go back to back here. Second match is on its way. I would love to grab ourselves a win here. So Bash Legion is going to be that guy. Especially, like I said, no way of changing weather on our opponent's side. So if I keep rain, my rain Pokemon are going to thrive. But we'll see who they want to end up leading. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared, right? I don't want Iron Bundle to be led. I don't want Shen Pao to be led. That's two Pokemon that are probably going to be led, right? So maybe I shouldn't have led Thunderous. Thunderous is going to be tough. Ooh, man. I might just hard swap Thunderous if that's, the, if that's what's happening. Yeah, because one of their Ice Pokemon could rip into me. Just like the last match, Shen Pao just dumped on me. But I let it die out. I could have swapped and like kept it alive. But I was just like, I think we have a decent shot at winning it. If we just let this thing die out and, and roll out with the Tailwind. That's exactly what we did. We ended up just winning that match. We ended up going Shen Pao alongside with Dragonite. Um... Hmm. What is my play? The play is to definitely probably set up a Tailwind, right? Definitely get Tailwind cooking. It's an absolute must. And did we just go into like Fluttermane or something? Or, you know, I'll go into Bash Legion. We'll swap into Bash Legion and we'll set up the Tailwind for the rest of the squad. I have Focus Ash on this thing. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're going to swap turn one. This combo is annoying. I'm going to have to figure out a way around it. The Thunder is going to come back here. Absolutely love it. Now, I wasn't going to go to Flutter Main, but I, I kind of need Flutter Main at full HP, especially with that booster energy. So we'll see what they want to do. They're going to Terrasalize. They are Terrasalizing. Or is that me? Did I misclick? Don't tell me I misclicked. No, it's them. He's going to end up Terrasalizing. He's going to go into that lovely little normal Terra. So that normal Terra comes out here. Um, what do I want to do from here? He's going to E speed me. Right into the Pelper slot. He's probably going to Ice Spin it. So that's going to Sash me up, which is big time. So we get that lovely little Focus Sash cooking. And Ice Up Crash could come in hot. You double down into Paloops? How dare you? How dare you double down into Paloops? That really hurts the soul. I don't even get off a Tailwind. But from here, I'm going to go into Fluttermane. And I think I just Terrasalize Fluttermane there, correct? I think I Terrasalize Fluttermane and I pop a nice... Lovely. That's clean. Is that a correct statement? That might be a correct statement. I don't think I Terrasalize just yet. I think I just go into here. I think I just go Gleam. And maybe Terrasalize next turn. We're going to read out what Shen Pao wants to do. But of course they double down in the Pelipper. Wow, the double down in the Pelipper. Predicting my swap. Maybe not even predicting the swap. Just not allowing me to get off the tailwind really hurts that really hurts because now we're sitting here doing no damage to Dragonite and Chen Pao and they're ready to get after me so I am scared of the sucker punch coming in from uh from Shen Pao so we're gonna read out what he wants to do here by protecting I'm just gonna send a nice little dazzling across the board so he ends up withdrawing Dragonite Dragonite gets the withdrawal he's gonna save it for later okay I feel you and you're gonna go into Heatran here so Heatran comes in here it's definitely gonna grass terror. Um, hmm. Sucker punch is gonna come in that slot. It's gonna fail. Okay, so that's that's a solid turn for us. The solid makeup turn that we can start doing some damage. So from here, if he's gonna grass terror, which there's a high chance of him grass terror, right? If he's gonna grass terror, I'm gonna have to water terror here. And I'm going to wave crash into this thing. And I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam across the board. Even if you Terra Grass, we're still going to do a nice chunk of damage to him. So I'm cool with that. And if you don't Terra Grass, then you're dead. So we'll see how this one plays out here. I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy that he that he ended up swapping with Dragonite. I think he might have been choosing the, in the, in the uh, E speed. Which makes a lot of sense with both my Ghost types on the field. He's probably like, oh, this is a terrible position. They just want the same. 
So he ends up protecting Chen Pao. That's fine. And he stays in here with Heatran. No terror from Heatran. So we're just going to get rid of Heatran. We'd love that. We'd love that. We're just going to get rid of Heatran. We're just going to get rid of Heatran. But that was actually like one of the first times where I did not predict them going into grass type. <laughs> and it paid off. Because most of the time I'll be like, okay, he's 100% going to grass type. And I wouldn't even use the water move. But this time, I don't know what brought me to just be like, hey, he might stay. Maybe go for a water move. I think it was just because of how much damage Bash Legion can really do. And I kind of wish that we did not Terrasalize this point. Because we know who's coming back out. Oh no, you're just coming in here. And from here, I'm just going to stay in here and I'll drop a last respects. We did lose Pelipper, so this could still do a nice chunk of damage. Now Daz will leave cross. We can just get rid of Shen Pao here. If we can get rid of Shen Pao, that can really be good for us. The Sucker Punch is going to fly here. We're able to soak that up, which I absolutely love. Daz will leave coming in here. He's not faking me out, which is big time. And we get rid of Shen Pao. That is just, that's just massive. But it stops a lot of damage coming out from the Dragon Knight. Last respect comes out here. We almost pick up the KO. And now he's going to wood hammer a KO. My Basque Legion? Are you taking out my Basque Legion, kind sir? Who are you taking out? You're going to take out my Fluttermane. Smart call. I'll give it to you. Very, very smart call to get rid of Fluttermane. The Fluttermane dies out. Um, We have one more Pokemon left. And it is going to be... The Wild Bolt Storm God, who we swapped out in the beginning. So we were looking like we were in a, such a tough spot, but now we have a, a real match up here. So I got Thundo here. Um, I'm going to choice into Wild Bolt Storm. It's going to do some big time damage. How many turns left in rain, though? One. Do I want to? I, I, I have to. I feel as I have to. There's no way. He might choice an E speed. I'm going to protect you here, Bash Legion. I'm going to go for the Wild Bolt Storm. I think you do E speed into my Bash Legion. I really see that coming. I really. Actually, I don't. Uh, yeah, he's got he's to choice back into E speed. 1000%. And I feel as if we do not read this protect, we lose this match, so I might as well go for this. Such a good match. Really good match. So we're going to protect Basically and say that E Speed is coming into that slot. Am I correct, person? I'm a wrong person. That's a bad move by me. Can you soak this? Wow, even without Shen Pao next to him, he is KO, and that's going to be. That's going to be wraps. That's definitely Choice Bandit right there. He's a Choice Band Pokemon all day. I wish I saw my ghost typing, but yeah, that is that is now the game. That is now the game. We maybe had a shot if I would have went into last respects and took out Robum here, but yeah, we got nothing here. I mean, I'll still give it a try, but I know Eastby is gonna take me out. Yeah, I shouldn't have let my Bash Legion die out here, but solid, solid match in match number two. The Dragonite's just too overpowered, even without Shen Pao. Final match is here, and Dragonite got the best of us in match number two. But we're in our final match, and we're going up against the Sun team. So weather is going to be key here. They got Logan, they got Charizard, they got Indeedee, Arm Rouge, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Flutterman. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? Because this is kind of tough, because Indeedee, Arm Rouge is going to be very, very strong. And I'm trying to think of like ways that maybe we can counter it, but it's not <laughs> looking so hot for us. It's not looking good at all. I mean, Fluttermane's going to be a solid lead. We definitely want Pelipper more as a back-end Pokemon. So I think I'm going to go in with everybody besides Basque Legion and Amoongus. But if they do pop trick him, I would love to have Amoongus. Ah. You know what? Screw it. We're fine. It's third and final battle. We already won one today. I want to win this one, though. But it's fine. It's fine. I just I just would rather use Thunders. I haven't really showcased it too much, so I kind of want to use it a little bit. But it seems like this one's going to be tough. It do definitely seems like this one's going to be tough. They got two viable play styles that could be tough for us so we're gonna hope that they're trying to go for sun and we can kind of count on that but what are main chars are come out here and that's probably gonna be sunny day boosted right it makes the most sense be 
booster energy, right? Speed's gonna be up, out, and about. Oh my lord, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is ungodly terrifying. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna... Mm. I'm gonna shadow ball that and oh blah, 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 blah. you know no we're gonna shadow ball Whew, this is tough I'm gonna shadow ball that and I'll heavy slam into you so he ends up just going straight for the green here I'm cool with that I'm cool with that no sunny day comes out here which I love make it off some big time damage big time crit here and heat wave's gonna fly here we're soaking no burns no burns cool heavy slam flies get rid of Flutterman so wow better start than I thought we would have <laughs> definitely better start so Flutterman can KO Charizard right here right now why does Charizard look so much more angry in this game like look at him someone ticked him off dude he's just not about it guess like the sun's not here so he's just not happy but he ends up going into Lilligan you gotta swap into Torkoal here right you gotta swap into Torkoal And at this point, I am just going to body press Charizard slide. Just in case he swaps into it, right? Trying to do as much damage as possible can on that thing. Alright. Because so I can definitely see a nice little Torkoal swap in here. There's no way you would go in the little on the left side if you were not going to swap in Torkoal. Yeah, so cool. He's going to end up doing that. You're going to take out my Fluttermane here with Leaf Storm, Solar Blade, Solar Blade, whatever you're cooking. And we'll go from there. No, you're just gonna put me to sleep. Okay, I mean, you could just take me out, but that's fine. That is fine. So, Flutter Main Slump, do not be a double sleeper. I, actually, I hope you're a double sleeper because I have Sap Sipper. Body Press coming out here. We're trying to do <laughs> some damage over on that thing. We'll get some leftovers HP. We'll cook up on that. Um, But I got Rain. I do have Rain. I could swap into Rain if I want to. I think it's gonna be my play. We'll keep Fluttermane in here. We'll go. We'll look to go for some gleams, and we'll just swap into rain. Swap into rain. We like rain. I'll swap into rain, and I'm gonna swap Pelipper next turn again. And the reason I want to swap Pelipper next turn again is, I think he might swap Torkoal. And like the only way they're really gonna beat us now is if they get this weather control. Now I will not allow it. I simply cannot. I simply cannot allow it. Plus, Comet's gonna fly here, and of course you combat into me. And you're gonna erupt. Get that defense drop, which is cool. Are you erupting kind, sir? He is. Can you guys eat? Maybe? Ew. That is lovely. That is lovely. But from here, we're gonna gleam. And like I said, I'm I'm swapping. I'm swapping in the thunder. Going right in the thunder. Going right in the thunder. You think I'm playing around? You think I'm playing around? Right in the thunder. We got rain. I think they swapped Torkoal. I really do. Yep, and that's why I swapped Pelper. I'm keeping this, keeping this all day. I'm keeping this weather. The Charizard comes out here. He might even protect Logan. again. Like, I hope we just wake up. Yeah, that's game. That's game. Now that we woke up. Unless you're Sash, Logan, but you are. Oh, we don't KO Charizard either? Come on, man. What is that about? What is that about? We do not KO the Charizard? Sleep powder's gonna come out here. So, of course, you put me to sleep. That's lovely, isn't it? That is just lovely. Now I am asleep. Um, I am just going to protect here and I'll stay in here. But he's going to swap back into Torkoal. Which is fine. Because now I can swap into Pelipper and I can just go for Dazzling and get rid of Charizard. But, um, huh. And then, yeah, if I do that, then we have Weather for the rest of the game, which is cool. This is wild. <laughs> this is a wild matchup here. He was gonna fly here. I protect it. And uh, he's gonna do a nice chunk of damage to my thunder. Wow, that's a big time chunk of damage. The solar power is actually gonna KO him, and now, now, now we pretty much win this game. Unless he protects a little again here, which is probable. Definitely is probable. But I'm a swap. I'm taking weather. I'm taking weather home with me. So now I'm going to a nice lovely Dazzle Gleam. 
And this is where I swap and take weather for the rest of the match. Hopefully little weather. We still have uh We still have my shelter boy in the back end. This match could be a little tough, but again, they have to protect Logan here if they want a shot. But the weather sh is ours. New Pelper would be a good Pokemon. This is just a swap more here. So we got into Pelper. They cannot change weather now. We got the weather for the rest of the match. And let's see what they want to do. They got to protect Logan. And they don't. That's game. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That is game, set, match. I'll start throwing Hydro Pumps at the Torkoal. I'll start throwing everything in my power at that thing. And we'll go from there. There we go. Heat Wave's going to fly here. Fluttermane's going to die out. But Pelipper is able to soak. My boy Paloops coming in hot here in match number three. Rain is definitely the winner. But I'm just going to go... I guess I'll go into Thundo. I mean, I guess. Because maybe he'll wake up. We can drop some electric moves into him. We'll really get cooking. But from here, I'm just going to drop a Wild Bolt Storm. Hope to wake up. And Hydra Pump coming in hot for the win, right? Hydra Pump's ending this. No problem. Thunder's going to be fast asleep. Like I said, I have a lot of faith in my Pelipper. He's going to land his Hydra Pump. Pelipper, come on, man. Come on, man, you're better than that. <laughs> you're better than that. Yo, we might lose this match. We might lose this match. Don't tell me I'm losing this match to some RNG whack. Don't tell me I'm losing this match. Don't tell me I'm losing this match. Uh, I'm gonna shelter. I'm gonna start sheltering just so my body press can do a ridiculous amount of damage. We have to shelter because we already know it's not doing like anything. And while the rain's out here, we can soak up some shots. So sheltering up, we might shelter twice. It depends, and he's gonna terrestrialize here. Terrestrializing the fire. Oh my lord, we might lose this match. Can you miss a heat wave? Like, I missed a hydro pump. Can you miss a heat wave so I can make something happen here? I think I still might have terror. But do I want to terror in the fairy? Not really. Heat wave's gonna fly. How much damage is, is this doing? Do I shelter again? Or do I start hitting? So how many turns do we have? Two turns left in rain. I'm gonna start hitting. Body press coming in hot here. We should be good. We should be good. Because we should serve this. Okay, we're good. We win this match. Because <laughs> body press can't miss. But why does this game have to make it hard for me, man? It's got to make it hard for me, but I'm going to still say it. Come on, man. That's too easy. Body press coming in here. GG's. There's the game. Good thing we sheltered. Get that damage boost. We go 2-1 for today's video. You guys already know the deal. I got you guys. I got you guys with that winning record. 2-1 for today's video. Love this team so much. Didn't really get the showcase of Thunders, but still, Bash Legion and Pelipper did a lot of the heavy lifting. And still, Gudra doing some work as well. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.